many times uh, you have some problem in your uh, line shape files when you want to do some uh, analysis on your uh, network. It can be a street network or any other uh, polyline. Uh, so, and uh, sometimes depending to the purpose of your project, you may need uh, your uh, data, your uh, let's say line type shapefile to have some features, some characteristics uh, which uh, matches to your purpose, to the purpose of your project. Here, uh, the example is uh, when you have uh, the pro two problems. First problem is when you need uh, any here here the example is a street a network a street uh, and so uh, we assume that in the project we need uh, all streets between two intersections to be one uh, one polyline or not two different line segments one line segment but as you see here the the data has some problem first of all between two intersection uh, there is no one uh, street and also when I click on in this on the second part of the street the street is continued to the to the next intersection and it's not divided by this intersection here split it uh, from this uh, is not split it in this intersection so how we can solve the problem this can also sometimes be the problem when you with the case when you uh, download you have it downloaded the data from some trusted uh, um, sources like OpenStreetMap or so on but uh, actually this is not any 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 mistake or any problem uh, by itself in, in a data but it's only related to what you need and to the purpose of your project so you can just simply correct it uh, at, and, and, and change it uh, in a way that uh, it's it's appropriate, it's more appropriate to your uh, and matches to the purpose of your project. Uh, so, and also it can be digitized by you. I mean, the data can be uh, digitized by you or anybody anybody else. And uh, but uh, no difference. The problem is the same. And how now I'm going to describe and explain with you uh, for you how you can solve the problem. First of all, for uh, I would say the first step should be is to to uh, dividing these uh, all the segments in, in the in the network uh, on the intersections. So, for this purpose, you should just simply go to processing toolbox and you can just uh, search for split then a vector overlay split with lines is what exactly what we need. So the idea here is to split polylines uh, with some given lines. And the good thing is that we can, instead of drawing a line and making a shapefile, we can use a pre prepared shapefile. And the good idea when we need uh, splitting our um, uh, polyline and intersections, the good idea is to use the same layer. Uh, and that the, the, the lines in the same layer can, uh, can take this role for us. Uh, okay, so input layer is the same as split layer. And if you are only interested to, to change some small part of the network, you can select it before uh, opening the split bit line uh, window and then here just tick the selected feature only but here I just want to uh, correct uh, the whole network and uh, so you can also uh, give a location on your uh, computer to save it but now I don't need it and so let me just push on the click on the run and see what will happen. My shapefile here uh, has uh, around 20,000 segments. And you see uh, the process is being done in, in a very much reasonable time. And 
Yes, and it's down now. So let's close it and see what has happened. So as I didn't give any, any location to save the shapefile, here I have a temporary shapefile. Uh, and when I close my project, I will no longer have this shapefile uh, and I cannot open it later. So if I'm interested to have this shapefile, if I'm happy with the result, later I can just export it and save it as another shapefile. But uh, before that, let's see what has happened to our data. So, okay, you see the the uh, the line, the polyline between two uh, line segment between two intersections are joined together, and also actually sorry, not joined, but is splitted exactly at intersections. Also here and here. Yes, but the second problem is still remaining. Now we should merge and join uh, line segments between two intersections to have one line segment. So let me close this processing toolbox. And so for this purpose, to correct this problem here, that uh, uh, when you want to join uh, two line segment, you need to go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and then search for join multiple lines. I have already done this before and installed it and activated it. After that, you will have uh, this icon here. If you, you cannot see the icon uh, in other, uh, movies i already have told you how you can uh, uh, solve the problem and so let's do it you should just simply select be sure that uh, no other segments are selected otherwise uh, it will make uh, uh, bad errors in your network and you will have uh, troubles to reversing it to the to the correct position to the correct situation of your data so then if you are if you're sure that no other segment is no segment or no line is selected we choose the selecting option we selected two parts two line segments and join them by a join multiple line now you see, it is one feature, one entity, one line. Again, here we have the problem, the same problem. I zoom for you to see. Yes, now we have three line segments and simply they are now joined. So we have no problem here. Everything seemed to be Good. Again, we have the same problem here. Okay. So in this window, we are done. We corrected everything. Okay, and you see exactly the line segments are uh, divided on, inter on, inter on the intersections and also uh, between two, two intersections we have uh, lines which are uh, interpreted as one lines, one entities in the uh, attribute table. So, and uh, keep in mind that exactly when first time that you click on the join multiple line, the situation of uh, the mode of uh, your, your uh, shapefile is in, in, in the editing mode. And you can, after, after you are done with your analysis, you can just simply click on the editing mode and save it. Then you will have your uh, network ready for the further analysis. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you could uh, uh, use it or you can use it 
in your projects when you need this. Uh, these two are, I would say, two handy uh, features, possibility, or let's say, yeah, tools in uh, QGIS. And uh, yeah, 